Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel again today. Uh, so this share is for uh, Cut To You and I am creating an Easter layout. I believe um, the 10th, which is when my post is going up, is um, Good Friday, but I'm not sure. So if it's Good Friday, I hope that you're with the people that you love, doing the things that you love in this very strange time. What I have for you today to start with is a, um, a bit of a tutorial in my Silhouette stof Softwear, not Stockware. Um, and you can see here I have got this Easter basket cut, cut file that I have traced. Um, and I've traced it quite big and I'm using two black and white photos uh, of my children. Uh, there's one of each of them with their... Um, with their Easter haul from last year and I'm going to layer those on top of the cut file when I get a place I'm happy with. So you can just see I'm moving these around trying to work out exactly where I'm going to move things and how I'm going to have them. Um, I think I come up with my idea. Yes. So this is essentially what I end up coming up with and sticking to. It does change a little bit between computer and desk, which is totally fine. So you can see I'm just getting that Easter basket to the right size, making sure I've got my photos that are going to fit properly. Um, I have firstly cut this in um, a dark wood grain from the Cocoa Vanilla Studio Legendary Collection. Then I realised after I cut it that all of the bits are going to be in dark brown wood grain, which I did not want. So what I'm doing here is I'm picking out the bits that I want to, um, actually no, that's not what I'm up to yet. What I'm up to is taking out the bits that I'm going to use my Cameo to cut for me. Um, I did these eggs um, and I, I, some of the eggs I use and some of them I don't. I had a very blonde moment. You can see all my bits to the left hand side there. Uh, that I'm working with. So what I've done here is I've grouped together, uh, I've ungrouped the whole, uh, turned off the release compound path for the whole cut file and then I've got all the pieces. I have then pulled all the different parts, all the different pieces apart and kept the pieces that I want. I've got that outline there so that I can check how much space I've got around the pieces I'm currently playing with. So what I've got here is the basket bit and I have just used the inside piece to measure it to about the right, to, so it's about the right size. And what I'm doing here is just tidying up some of these cut lines because some, some of them were a bit wonky and all over the place. But you can see up the top there, I have got um, the two pieces for the basket. And all I've done is done, so the internal piece, I have like essentially welded it all together and then done a, um, a trace of the outside piece. This may not be making sense to you. I do apologize if it is a bit of a jumble. I'm hoping that the visual is helping you to understand what I'm what I'm going on about. Um, I also showed you quickly there how I had pulled out the bow so that I could get my cameo to cut that, that piece for me. And now what I'm doing here is this is when I realized that my cut file was going to be all in dark brown wood grain, which I did not want. What I am using is my knife tool and I'm going through and I'm just cutting off the bits that I want to make white. So you can see I'm just going from one line to another. So I'm just making sure I'm overlapping those lines as I cut them. Um, and then I'm going to be able to move this as one whole piece. Uh, so that bow will move as one whole piece. So that I can then cut that again on smooth white cardstock that I'm going to uh, stick straight over the top of the brown that I cut. So I'm going to, I think I keep in this whole process of the bow so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Making sure that I've got all of that and then I can move that bow completely separately um, and I've got just the bow that I'm going to cut. I'm going to go back in and do the same thing with the eggs here. And again, I'm just using my knife tool, making sure I'm overlapping the two, like the, the lines, so that it does cut it and close the line after it cuts it. 
this was a little bit fiddly um, but I am really glad that I did it I really love how it um, ends up so you can see here this is what I ended up cutting in white cardstock and you can see that I have backed everything um, off screen I did actually take this away with me to uh, the retreat I went on at, um, in February so here is my cut file all backed. You can see that I've got those white pieces on. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I have used all Coco Vanilla Studio product. Um, I think there's at least four different collections here, but I'm not sure. Um, but I was really inspired by that rainbow uh, background paper that I have used. I thought it was perfect for an Easter page. Uh, it's not a really bright, um, really bright rainbow. So I decided to use that. I I don't know if you just saw them when I cut the bottom part of the basket I don't know what I did but when I was um, moving the lines of the internal cut I moved them too much and I've got a chunk missing from the bottom of the basket so I've just switched the sides of where my photos are going it's easy enough to cover up and no one would ever know the difference my little eggs here are from the um, the other cut file that I used, which is called Easter Blessings. So it does come with the title Easter Blessings, but it's also got these little eggs. And you can see I actually cut um, like a whole heap of them. My kids ended up with them, uh, with the ones I didn't use. And again, I've just used the same pattern papers that I've used to back the rest of the cut file. Um, all of the eggs are backed with papers from... I can't even remember it is it's a six by six paper pad make a wish love always something like that I can't remember um it's one of, it's one of those so I'm just getting these into a cluster so they look like they belong so they don't look really stupid adding some foam some tissue paper here I'm going to mount my photos I want rainbow nails again I might have to do that again so just using some tissue paper uh, behind my photos, just to give those a little bit of separation from the background. I'm really happy with how this page came together in the end. I wanted something um, quite soft uh, and it sounds really stupid because here in Australia, um, Easter is in autumn, uh, but I wanted something that looked kind of spring-like. So that's, I, I feel like I've achieved that and I'm really happy with the end result. Uh, now I've got the tissue paper behind there. I'm going to add all my little um, eggs to my clusters here and make sure that I am happy with them. If I sound distracted, I can hear my kids walking around. Um, my video took ages to reload and they have very, very, very patiently been waiting um so i'm just sticking these together so that i can move it as one whole cluster and i go oh my gosh i've accidentally stick, stuck it to the background which i didn't want to do yet so i managed to pull it up and i'm just going to stick all of these pieces together like i said so that i can move it all as one piece it makes it much easier Um, the funniest thing about this is when I took these photos last year, um, we were in the middle of moving my craft room. So these photos were taken in my old space where everything had been removed from. Uh, and both of my kids, um, but if you have a close look at um, the, the one on the right hand side, that's Hunter, uh, you will see that he has strategically placed all of his eggs. He was like, no, mum, you can't take my photo yet. Let me put these out really nice. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, have a look. He's he set them up, um, taking quite a lot of care in placing them just perfectly. Um, I decided to back that whole thing with some foam, just to give it a bit of dimension and interest. Uh, of course, I cannot do a layout with some sort of mixed media. So white splat as it is, I wanted to keep it light and airy. I love that this rainbow stripe has got that grey in it. And just between you and I, I maybe bought a bunch of sheets uh, when Coco Vanilla had a sale not that long ago. So you may see it more than once in the future. 
Uh, I wanted yellow for my title. Um, I love these stickers. They are one of my favourites. I think the font is Lullaby. Uh, but the yellow was a bit too bold. So I'm just using a little bit of gesso, rubbing that over the top to um, dull the colour a little bit. And it is perfect. It goes perfectly with the colours I've already got on my page. Um, it is not a complicated technique at all. I think I end up doing three coats on these letters or two. I'm not sure. Um, but you can see that I'm just going over them. Because it's such a thin coat, they dry so quickly. So you can see I'm just placing my title here. Now I did forget to zoom back out. Um, I don't think it stays like this for very long and you can see exactly what I'm working on anyway. So you can see I toyed with the idea of the, is it a, an apostrophe and the 19, but decided to go with the 2019. I liked the balance that that provided a bit better. So I'm just adding some more white gesso to that. I think I'm going to come straight in now and stick this down. Hmm, no, first I'm going to add a little bit more foam. ATG! I think that it stops working. Yeah, it stopped working. I'm like, ah, of course. Got it all refilled and off I go again with some more. Stick it down. And I'm going to stick my title down next, I think. I do want it to be relatively straight, so I'm going to use my T-square ruler and just to place um, the word Easter. And then I think I'm just going to wing the rest. But I don't know that I make you watch all of it because it's not fun watching people um, stick alphabet stickers at all. So I think I just leave this bit in and then jump forward and you see it done. Yeah, uh, the little pink puffies are Ellie's studio. And I'm really happy with how that came together. I was like, I need something little to go on here. What am I going to do? I remember that I had these really cute little punches. They came as a set of three. One is an Easter bunny, one is an Easter egg, and one is a little bow. I use the egg and the Easter bunny. And I'm just going to punch... Um, a few little eggs, a couple of little bunnies, create a couple of little clusters with them. I just felt like I needed something a bit smaller scale. So I'm just going to add, I'm pretty sure it's a cluster of three little eggs to the title and three little eggs up above the photos on the left hand side. Um, and then I'm going to top those little clusters with the cute little bunny. He's so cute. Um, quick tip that, I mean it took me a while to work it out. But if you want your punches to face, like, I've got one facing, I've, they're both facing into the page. Just flip your paper over and punch it on the other side. Um, I've gone into my stash and pulled out some puffies and I've added a yellow and a white heart um, in three places. So I've got one next to the title, one up to the top left of the photos and one down to, um, like, the bottom left of the title kind of area. Uh, and I'm going to go back in and add a few more splatters. I love how this page came together. I really do. I'm so happy with it. Um, I don't normally do soft and airy like this, but I'm very glad that I was tasked, the ch well, put my hand up to, to do this. So yay. Um, some close-ups for you and then a ton of close-up photos. Um, if my, if my dates are correct, today is Good Friday. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I hope that whatever you are doing, you are enjoying, enjoying some downtime with those people that you love. Um, I think now is really important to really embrace each other, um, whether that is actually physically in the same space or virtually or with letters or however you can. Um, keep those connections. I'm loving hearing from you guys. I know that I haven't been as fantastic about replying, but it really truly is on my list. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed my share today. I hope that the Easter Bunny spoils you. Uh, and yeah, thank you ever so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, wherever you are, I hope that you are well and taking care of yourself. I will speak to you soon.